Hi, I'm Sharma Kern with Thai Healing Massage Academy. Welcome to another edition of our Thai Massage question and answer series. Today's topic is how to preserve your hands when you do Thai Massage. Sometimes students, they mention they do a certain technique and they say, oh, it was stressful for my hands, or my hands are hurting, so am I doing something wrong? How can I do it better? And I will answer all those questions in today's video. Now, the first issue is, maybe you're just new to Thai massage or to massage in general and then of course in the beginning everything you do with your hands feels a little bit stressful because your hands are not used to it but the good news is if you do it for one or two weeks you build up a little more strength in your hands and that will just resolve itself but that is not the problem that we're talking about the problem is when people are using their hands in the wrong way i will show you how that looks like the wrong way is if you just use muscle strength for a technique and if your body is not involved. In other words, you're just working with your hands. So I will demonstrate it on a technique where you just squeeze and roll the muscle. So I'm doing this the wrong way now. Now if you look at my body, you will see it was not moving. Now I'm going to show you the right way. Look at my body. You notice it's moving. Everything is moving. So this is the principle number one. You always work with your entire body. If you just work with your hands or even you just work with your arms, it's like blocking your own energy flow. It doesn't feel right. It feels mechanical. It feels clumsy. And, of course, it tires your hand, it stresses your hand. So you want to move your whole body. Even if the movement that you're doing is just a little tiny movement, it should always come out of your whole body, not out of one body part. The second principle is that you don't use the strength of your muscles in your hands, but you use the natural weight of your body. So in other words, if you want to apply pressure on a muscle, instead of just trying to do that with your hands, you do it with the weight of your body. So the second step is while you're working with your whole body, you're leaning into the muscle and that will eliminate most of the stress on your hands because you don't need so much strength now because you use your body weight. The third thing is you want to completely wrap your hands around the arm. In other words, you don't want to have a hollow space here. Because if you do have a hollow space here, then you're putting a lot more stress on your joints, the finger joints, and it just takes much more energy to work like that. So wrap your hand completely around the arm that there is no space, and then you have the best support possible for your hands, and you need the least amount of strength, and it will feel much better. All right. The next thing is you need to keep everything in your body relaxed. So in other words, your arms cannot be rigid, your wrists cannot be locked up. Watch my wrists, my elbows and my shoulders now. You can see it's all moving, it is fluid. It's not rigid, it's not locked up. Everything should feel like a dance, it should look like this. Your wrists going up and down, your elbows moving, your shoulders loose. If you work like that, it will feel effortless and you will never feel any stress in your hands. So these are the principles. Work with your entire body, use your body weight, and keep everything loose and relaxed. The fourth thing would be just to make sure you have good support for your hands. But there is one more thing. In spite of everything that I just told you, if you work too much with your hands, they will get tired, especially if you are a small female therapist and you work on someone twice your weight, twice your size. That is why in Thai massage we have this huge advantage that we have so many other body parts, so many other ways of working. You don't have to constantly use your fingers like that. For example, Let's say you have this uh, 220 pound client and you weigh 100 or 120 pounds. Well, you just don't use your hands so much. Instead of using your hands, maybe you use your forearm. Or you use 
Your knee works very well on the forearm. I mean, there's many things you can do. You can use your hands, your elbows, your forearms, your knees, and even your feet in Thai massage. So the principle is you only use your hands as much as really necessary, but don't overuse them. And in Thai massage, there's no reason to overuse them because you have so many other options. So if you just follow those tips that I gave you in this video, you will have two major advantages. First of all, you will preserve your hands. You will not stress them. There won't be any pain. You can work for a long time, every day, month after month, year after year, without burning out your hands. You can do that because Thai Massage has all those different options and this refined way of working that I just explained to you. The second advantage is that it will feel so much better for your client than if you work in a mechanical way. It will feel just like you have this wonderful, magical touch and your clients will love it. It will show in their relaxation, in their appreciation of your work. So it's a whole different mode of working once you know how to use your hands in the right way.